So, David, thank you for being here tonight. Uh, we saw a lot with your character last season, kind of trying to, like, processing grief, processing the loss of a spouse, as well as dealing right. with yeah, yeah. Jamie. Thank so, the <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen it. So. <laughs> yeah, well, so how do you handle a role like that? And how do you, what can we expect from season five? How do I handle a role with dealing with grief or just dealing with Lord John? Ah, oh, jeez. Well, a lot of traveling to and from Scotland, from Australia, which is uh, it's tough. Um, and I think, like, he's a gift of a character. I think there's a, he's got a lot of emotional depth. Um, it's, an, it's an historical piece, so there's, you can get a lot into the, the history of it. Um, and I think, like, oh, what else? Um, well, you know, a lot of the work's done for you already. You have a costume, you have a fantastic writing, you have Diana's story. So I really just try to inhabit the character as best I can. Is there anything you can tell us about season five? Uh, there's a wedding. <laughs> and I will be at the wedding. Um, it's the fifth season. And um, I'm trying not to be coy or flippant about this. What else can I tell you? Um, I think as far as my character is concerned... Um, uh, well, we will see him, which is, you know, a pleasant surprise. I was really happy to be included in this season because, as we know, or well, book readers will know, he's not actually in this book, um, except in uh, an epistolary way. There's a word for you. Um, and uh, he, uh, but I have been included, and um, he's gonna, his, his loyalty is going to be tested, as they always are, because his affections, his heart is with... Um, Jamie Fraser and the Frasers, but his allegiances are to the Crown. And um, we'll see how Lord John's, you know, most of the time he's led by his heart rather than his, his duty. So that's my last question then. How, as, um, how do you think that he is going to process not only everything going on with the upcoming American Revolution and being on the opposite side from Jamie, potentially, and how he feels about Jamie too? Yeah, it sounds like a drama there, doesn't it? It's, it's, how's he going to do that? Well, look, I think at the end of the day, um, Lord John, he's all, like I said, he's guided by his heart. And I think, although his loyalties have been tested, we've seen him tested before in season four. He's, yeah. he's made the choice to protect Brie. And um, he's going to meet a handsome um, time traveller from Scotland. Yeah. And his loyalty is going to be tested have you to Jamie spoiled? Fraser. Have in you fact, told him his the heart is about gonna Walt be... John Gray and, and Roger Mack? Yes, his heart's going to be... His loyalties to Jamie Fraser are now tested by this handsome man. Which is <laughs> almost irresistible. <laughs> Well, I got sidetracked there, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that, that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was very nice to meet very you. Nice to meet you too. Bye-bye.